so yesterday what we did is yesterday we learned about you know enhancement of a standard data source standard master data data source enhancement we learned yesterday okay um, so example we taken zero metal ATTR uh, data source and we enhanced with uh, one to one field uh, two fields uh, text fields to this uh, metal data source and we seen it so what are the steps we followed for this data source enhancement let's recap one quickly because today's session also you know continue to this only mm, what are the uh, steps to perform you know to do a master data source enhancement whether it is a master data or a transactional data okay so first you need to go to rsa2 uh, and uh, create append structure for the uh, append structure for the or in the uh, extract structure of the data source okay this is your first step to do after that you need to go to rsa6 to unhide the newly created fields okay next step is rsa3 uh, check data source reflecting new new newly added fields so he at this point of time your data source doesn't bring any data to this uh, you know new field field call newly added columns but at least you can see those column structures in the uh, you know output of your data source okay then uh, you know uh, do the uh, implement the enhancement logic implement the enhancement logic so these are the four uh, uh, simple steps so implementing enhancement logic is the only critical one you must know how to where to you know do this thing that's it okay so now uh, where we do this uh, enhancement uh, you know um, write the enhancement code uh, we yesterday we learned about how exactly a data source extraction will be happening correct so a data source extraction why at the time of data source extraction uh, each for each and every data source it extracts data definitely it will go to the one of the baddie okay so if i go um, yesterday we i created one uh, project in gbw in that project i added one enhancement component called you know rsap 0001 so in this component we have some exits so there are importantly we have two exits 001 and 002 002 is called for the master data um, exit okay whenever we are ex extracting data from a master data data source then at that point of time this particular exit will be called and uh, based upon the code we written here uh, handling our data source name and then writing code it will be called and the data will be filled to our newly added fields as per the logic written by us okay so this is what we learned yesterday now today what we are going to do is we are going to learn one example with transactional data source but what was the difference for today and yesterday uh, yesterday we learned how to write the code in the c mode in this include directly so writing code in this include is not you know always suggestible uh, what happened is because uh, if two people are working on the data source enhancement in a project then there is a dependency between the, both the people because the two people cannot access this screen simultaneously so one person is using another person cannot use if one person code is partially finished then uh, no one else can uh, you know transport this particular uh, include to the next systems so there is a lot of dependency so sap is suggesting not to write any code here but use this one like uh, we will create some generic solution in this in this particular include and mm, we don't come to the screen anymore we will you know take the uh, generic solution as a so i will teach you how to do that one now uh, let's see okay so to do uh, to teach you this one either what we can do mm, to teach you that one i will use this uh, transactional data source as an example and uh, we will look into that one ls data source let's take one ls data source as an example so yesterday we uh, stopped this so i am going to lbwe okay in that lbwe i am taking the sales component sd uh, yeah 11 r12 anything we can take okay let's take 11 um, or uh, yeah let's take 11 in this uh, let's take you know this uh, header data source okay 
our uh, item or item rate anything is fine so let's take item data source then so you see here this particular data source currently is in inactive state okay so here we can cover another concept also how to activate a list data sources concept also we can cover as part of this session okay so how to activate this one whenever the data source is inactive here first you need to check uh, we need to go to rsa file activate the data source so my target data source is 2LS11 VAITM. First, you activate the data source from RSA5. Go here, search for 2LS underscore 11 underscore VAITM. Whatever is the data source, first come to RSA5, activate here. And once if it is activated here, then it comes to RSA6. I'm just, uh, you know, uh, capturing under local package. So it is done here. Activations executed successfully. Okay. This is the message that we need to refer. Then RSS, uh, RSS 6 again. Sorry. <coughs> Slash in RSA 6. So uh, here also expand the tree. First you must expand this uh, tree and then search it. Uh, without expanding, if you search, it won't found. It won't. We cannot find that data source. VLVAITM. Okay, now yeah, we got the data source in it, you know, here to LS11 VITM. Now click on edit button and then save because I don't want to change any of the existing settings here, just I'm clicking on save button. So once these two actions are done, now again go to LBWE. Okay, now at now what you need to do, you need to click on this inactive. Whenever you click on inactive button, then it will turn to toggle. It will toggle between active and inactive. It is asking for a TR. So I think I don't have any TR here. Um, you know, to ls activation. I am creating a TR because it is a demo server. Just I am giving the TR description also. Just a, uh, name just just like that but in pro, in uh, real systems we must provide proper naming convention for the tr description also so you see now when i click on this inactive button and after capturing it in a tr it was turned to active state okay now the data source is in active state now activating the data source is completed now let's check whether it is working fine or not go to rsa3 to LAS underscore 11 underscore VAITM. Click on extraction button. If when you do some extraction, if it is a, if you are getting some data, it means it is a, you know, working. Okay, yeah. Uh, because you know LAS data sources doesn't fetch data you know uh, just like that we have there are some prerequisites are there to bring data into this data source but at least uh, it not went to the dump it is extra zero records got extracted means uh, still we can say the data source is working fine okay but data is not because data is not there in the setup tables so it is not uh, fetching the data okay so now because it is a sales data um, what we need to do let's go to sc11 VBA K VBAP table. Uh, okay, now what we'll do? So let's see how to fill setup tables for this LIS eleven component. Okay, uh, just to complete this activity, then we go for data source enhancement. Okay, uh, we are looking for eleven data source, which is sales data source, and how to fill setup tables for this LIS eleven LB SB. So generally you can directly get one transaction code uh, to fill this 11 data source uh, setup tables or what in interviews and all also what are you because you know remembering the, those many transaction codes for each and every data source you know component i can say um, lbwe right hmm. so there are separate transaction codes for each and every component here to fill their corresponding setup tables but remembering all i am not uh, you know that much interested so in interviews also how i use it to, to say is i will simply say i go to sbiw okay I will go to SBIW transaction code and from here I will tell that okay I will expand the node PI and then logistics uh, after that uh, the first one you know, whichever first one you will get the drop down that is the one okay that's it this is a simple navigation that we can remember if you remember one transaction code okay from here sales orders rebuild click on this SD sales orders uh, no extract structure active for uh, uh, no BW connected. 
no extract structure activated at all okay um let me check so i uh, click on this uh, sd sales order rebuild one so when you click on this one then you will get this setup table uh, opening screen okay so now what happened here it is important while filling setup tables a few things are important so the name of the setup table run you can give anything to ls11 it is okay and if you wish to provide some selections to the setup tables filling you can give it the most most important thing is termination date okay so the termination date must be always the future date not today's date or tomorrow's so that's why i am just changing the month to next month why it is so because the job will continue to run till this termination date reaches so sometimes some of the you know selectable jobs will take more time than expected at the because you know not to waste our you know too much time we will always keep this termination date to future okay after this what we do we will go to program execute in background and then uh, in output device uh, lpg01 one as the standard one we can give lpg01 click on okay and then immediate check save then you see here background job scheduled with the program name rmcv okay now go to slash and sc37 uh, sorry, no, sorry sm37 slash and sm37 execute so you can see there is a job created on your name and it's finished let's see whether now this after this job since we are filling some set of tables information i am expecting some data to come on my data source three records came yeah success at least we got some data right ALV grid display so yeah we can see some data here now okay and because it is a sales data it which contains the material information here also the somewhere let's see where we can find the material information here yeah material empty bot empty bot okay empty bot means empty uh, bot so same thing metal description is empty bottle okay fine so because today also i am going to enhance this data source with the material description only because you know to make our data you know simple logic simple uh, so we have a working data source in our so in our system now i am going to show you how to enhance how to enhance this particular uh, data source okay so what the data source now we are going to enhance it yesterday it is standard mass data now today it's a transactional data okay to lis underscore 11 underscore vaitm okay so anything the process is common you see i am going to follow the same four steps i am going to first rsa2 i am going to my data source click on display button go to extraction tab in the extract structure double click on the extract structure click on the append structure create one append structure so i am giving gst underscore uh, magner because i am going to bring my m magner uh, m a r t m a r t okay uh, text table click on ok button so structure is creating structure um, per material text okay provide always some relevant uh, comment here so i am going to add extra just like yesterday i am going to add the long and short description here okay these two i added and then clicking on activate button so i am activating my structure so once the append structure was created successfully now we can see the two newly added fields now the part of our extract structure of the data source this is the extract structure of the data source we are not supposed to edit this data source structure okay we are not supposed to edit this structure but we are going to append some extra structure to this one which will autumn in you know indirectly um, you know updates the structure of the main one you see these two fields added to my um, uh, data source structure so after doing this one so what is the next step here go to rsa6 and unhide the newly added fields i am going to do the same rsa6 
uh, it is saying hierarchy lock it's by somewhere so let me close this rsa6 expand the tree to las underscore level vitm go to edit mode of this particular data source pencil button a change data source unhide the newly added fields so where i can i need to search for my new fields last button yeah yeah mostly yeah 90 percent they come at the bottom but sometimes you know based upon it may come in middle also if many g fields are there then they may come on the middle also okay now click on save button so now the what was what was my next step it's rsa3 check data source slash in rsa3 so now here i am trying to check whether my data source the output structure was really enhanced or not after doing this so i will go here and i will go to the last okay here some it is not appearing then go to this uh, you know structure and you know change layout here there are many fields came on to the right side so you see middle description columns i can see on the right hand side so bring it to our layout and check so data is not yet populated but still i can see my newly column new columns are reflecting here okay so what next so now we need to implement logic to fill this particular data source one okay and what i told you yesterday uh, in uh, whatever extraction we are doing its system definitely comes to this particular enhancement component and the exits here so the exit to be called now is the first one not the second one okay just for our example just to see whether it is correct or not i am keeping a breakpoint in the exit two okay so i am doing the extraction let's see whether it is calling here or not it must not call but if it is calling yeah you see it not went to this particular breakpoint okay so we need to implement our code in the exit one so because it is not yet implemented you see whichever we implemented we can see the tick mark here one we not yet implemented at least once so that's why we are not seeing tick mark now double click on it to implement it okay and then i told you yesterday also when you first time when you are double clicking on this one it won't open the screen immediately below you can see the l1 program name jdx when you press enter then automatically it will ask you to create it then create a button and then save it on your local package or the tr and then activate from this time onwards next time whenever you go to that include it will open happily without any ch challenges okay now today what we are going to do now today i am not going to write any code directly here but i am going to write some code not the enhancement code i am going to implement some uh, generic uh, you know code here uh, similarly just like uh, just how we learned yesterday in the same way whenever this is also a function exit one is also a function module which brings your data source information the data which filled by data source cd data and you know the fields and everything information i can get here update mode also delta mode or whatever mode it is everything i can find here so now what i am going to do is this is a function module which is containing some import parameters and export parameters uh, table parameters so i can use all these in my include okay so using those information i am going to implement a generic code here so i copied some generic code here uh, before coming here uh, to make sure you know not to waste too much time so i am going to write some code generic code like this okay data so first what is the first one it is a uh, data local variable program name okay so what uh, i am not explaining you know uh, okay let me explain small thing i am going to create a program from next time onwards for any data source enhancement we are not going to write code directly here but we are going to create one program and in that program we are going to write our enhancement code so program is one way and uh, you know we can do in uh, multiple ways also what are the other ways we can do 
so either it is a program or it is a function module it is a class anything you can define and it you can make sure it will be called automatically based on your data source name okay if you understand this one you can understand the other uh, kind of you know uh, implementation logics also so this is the local variable of type uh, program name and then i am concatenating gpw underscore to the data source name i told you right so whenever system coming into this particular data source it will you know uh, into this data source it will uh, copy uh, is i underscore data source contains the data source name if i go one step back here you see this function module contains one import parameter called i underscore data source okay so this particular data source name what whichever data source is currently calling this particular include the data source name is storing under this one i am concatenating these two and storing into my program name and then simply i am calling perform execute user exit is a standard perform okay using this i can call any program name by passing uh, you know um, perform uh, sorry um, no, no, perform okay sorry sorry perform execute user exit is a one of the form you know uh, in our earlier programs we seen right how to write perform so this is a such kind of statement and uh, what was the meaning of this statement is uh, call this program and in this program there is a perform execute it okay the statement is in this program execute the form with the name execute user exit okay that's what i can show you when you can understand better once uh, we move further okay and in this uh, uh, when we are defining this form this perform is having some input parameters uh, that is called tables so i am passing some data here which data i am passing here the data which i am getting here you know as a importing parameter like a data source name uh, this tables information so whatever we see here it select it field ct data ct messages so these tables i am passing as a input to this perform check button you see there are no uh, errors are there Okay, okay, this function module related one. Okay, fine. So this is, as you see, it is. A, let me activate. So I am going to activate only my program. The other ones are something different ones. Uh, I am activating it. Okay, that's it. So uh, we are going to implement only this code in this particular C mode. So after, apart from this, we are not going to write anything here. So that's why we call it as a generic solution. Now the enhancement, the real enhancement, where we write, we will write in a program. So I am going to SC38. In the SC38, I am going to create a program name gbw underscore to lis underscore eleven underscore vaitm. I told you right, g and gbw underscore is a constant to be prefixed with our data source name. It is very very important. This particular string exactly matches to our data source name. Okay, the data source which we are working to ls eleven vaitm, so it must work exactly the same spelling and everything. Okay, now create this program. Just like a normal program, um, enhancement for to LAS underscore 11 underscore VAITM. And it is of type executable program. Click on save button, local object. That's it. Program was created. In this program, it is important to implement this particular form which we defined in the C mod. Okay. So how to implement this form? Um, we need to implement this form. This is a perform. So we need to implement form here. So form. So I copy. I let me copy this code also into from my local directory. Um, so we need to write a code in this way. Okay. So form execute user exit. So if you see here. It is exactly the implementation of this perform. So whenever we write, we already learned how to implement performs, right? So perform here and the implementation of the perform, I am writing here. Form, execute user exit, execute user exit, and uh, you know tables, whichever input parameters I am passing to this perform, uh, I am you know handling those here. IT select, IT fields, and here it is CT data. Yeah, it is okay if we have different name, 
uh, of the input parameters and the you know receiving parameters but let's take the same name ct data and ct messages okay and then uh, the end form form must end with end form in between we need to define our uh, enhancement logic okay let me comment it is out. so the important point here is what was the important point so when you're defining these tables you must provide the specific data type also okay this it select this it select from where i got this data type of it i can get it from the function module itself it select you see sb iwa t select i taken from the function module structure it fields and important thing is ct data is very important because ct data doesn't have any data type in the function module include okay this uh, exit function module so this is ct data always remember this ct data always must follows the structure of your enhancement structure so you are enhancing this 2ls11 vitm so now go to rs a2 rs a2 go here go to extraction tab here you see extract structure yesterday also for master data, data source we did the same thing we copied the structure of the extract structure similarly we need to copy the same thing here so ct data must be the uh, structure of the of your data source extract structure okay this is only the important point so after this what you need to do uh, you need to write your own logic to implement uh, you know to fill this one now before that what i am going to do i am going to keep a breakpoint to teach you um, that uh, this program is calling successfully so i implemented this program so what exactly we did so far let's quickly understand in a debugging mode okay so i went to this uh, c mode i went to the exit one i written some generic code okay so now i am going to rsa3 and in rsa i am keeping a breakpoint in my you know include one now i went to rsa3 and i am trying to extract the data so when i am trying to extract the data because of breakpoint you see it went to exit one okay it went to my exact breakpoint here what i am doing i told you this i data source contains the calling data source name so the currently the executed data source name is 2ls11 so it contains the same name what i am doing i am concatenating gbw underscore to my data source and i am storing in one of the local variable lv program name when i press f5 you see it exactly formatted the string gbw underscore data source name now what next i am doing i am i am you know i am calling the form in the program what was the program name it was a dynamic program name so whichever this particular program name contains that program name i am calling here so the program name is gbw so we already created a program with the name gbw to ls so now this program will be called but creating program is not enough in this program you must have this form implementation also okay if it is there then only it will be called if the form implementation is not there in this program then again yeah, the call may not uh, you know uh, not happens so because we implemented the form when i am pressing f5 it is going to the you see it went to this it went to our program to ls11 vitm and it called this one you see we are at break point now at this point i told you right ct data must have the structure of your data source why because now you see if you see the ct data it contains three records these three records are nothing but the output of your data source okay the output means along with your text you know newly added fields that's why it is important you need, you must specify the structure of the ct data equal to the extract structure of your data source okay i hope it is clear so far so now we are in need to implement logic to update the ct data table uh, with the enhanced fields okay information so now i am going to my program again so remove this uh, breakpoint here we, we don't need any more c mod we are done with this one i am going to my program so in the program i am going to write my code so i have a table ct data now i am going to define uh, you can define this in internally or externally out out of this form also okay data ls underscore uh, data type um, type so it is since it is a work area you can define with along same with extra structure type okay 
and then now we are going to bring data from the MART table, right? Text table of the uh, material to get the text information. So I am defining same code, MART and L uh, sorry it's LT and uh, LS underscore MART type uh, like line of LT underscore MART. This is work area. The first LT MART is the table. LS MART is the work area. So after this, in this, we need to write our code. Everywhere it is important if C underscore T underscore data is not initial. Before you writing any logic for this enhancement, if the CT data contains data, then only you are going to write this one. So that's why we are doing this one. And the important thing is if CT data doesn't get any data, extracts this particular enhancement also won't be called if there is no data in the CT data. So it is not important, you know, not uh, that much important to write this uh, CT data, okay, because we know how exactly it works, okay. Um, so now what I am going to write, I am going to write select statement, select star from MART into table LT underscore MART um, where Mar, uh, Mara is equal to uh, Mara is equal to, so it is important to bring data from this table, I need to pass the material information. So where is my material information? My material information is available in CT data, transactional data, C underscore T underscore data. So what um, Matner, I think, yeah, Matner is the field, okay. Uh, because it is a text mask data, it is good to have, you know, handle this uh, language also. Mm. So in the MART table, what was the language field here? MART, oh sorry, I'm giving wrong name. Huh? Mara. Mara table, let's study which table we use. MRT only, right? Mm. Material text. Ma, okay, ma, uh, one second. When I forgot now. Minute. Yesterday we did it and write your components. Oh, MAKT. Okay, MAKT is the table, not MART, it's a MAKT. So wherever I'm using MART, I'm changing it to MAKT because it's my mistake of giving the wrong table name here. Okay. Mm. Language is equal to E. Okay, so if you went to MAKT table, you see uh, the key here is the material and the language. That's why I given language also as a key to this uh, select statement because we need only the English uh, language information here. So done. So by this point, what we did, we are done with bringing the material text information into the local table. So now the next point is we need to fill the CD data uh, fields. So for that, I am going to use the field symbol. Either you can define field symbol on the top or you can use it in, uh, in let's say define here only. Okay, FS underscore data field symbol type. The type always, the field symbol is also follows the same type of the extract structure. Okay. That's it. Now, uh, loop. So looping to our CT data, C underscore T underscore data, assigning field symbols. Okay. Simply, we are reading the table, uh, read table, LT underscore MAKT into LS underscore MAKT with the key. Matner is equal to um, uh, in our uh, field symbol, fs data matner. If uh, if you found successful hit, size of RC is equal to zero. Then simply we are updating our enhanced fields. 
Similarly, uh, fs underscore data via field symbol, I am, I am updating data to my two uh, enhanced fields. So this is all the code just, uh, call, you know, um, same code just like yesterday. Okay, no much difference here. Pretty printer, just check uh, activate. That's it. I am done with my enhancement. Something error here. Uh, what it's saying? Unknown Mara. Uh, where I get Mara here? Line number twenty-five. I'm using. Yeah, it's not. It's Mara, very it's Mac, Mac, right? Yes. That's it. Activate. Okay. So now let's quickly see how it is executing. I am keeping a breakpoint in the select statement of my program, and I am going to uh, extract data one more time here. Extraction. So it uh, it directly calls my program. Yeah, you see, it called my program uh, GL GBW to LS11. So uh, I have we have three records in CD data. Okay. So when I press F5, yeah, it is bringing those three records text information to local table LT Mac MAKT. So we have only these two materials available, I think. So these two came here, and then we are looping to our CT data using field symbol. And using field symbols, I am updating the data to my uh, two newly enhanced columns. Okay. So since we are using field symbols, what is the uh, benefit of it? Directly we can update the internal table. You see, now table was updated with the information here. So by end of this, uh, you know, I am um, I'm I'm clicking on continue button. So I am going to ALV grid. So in the output, because you know by default uh, the two columns are not part of the output structure. So um, go to layout, bring these column info columns. Either bring only last two columns or all columns. Anything is fine because uh, our intention is to check only last two columns. Uh, you see, data was filled here. So this is how to perform the data source enhancement. Now the last point to conclude this topic is: so what is the benefit of implementing this? You know, generic logic. Okay, we created a program, so and we implemented some code in the C mod also. So what benefit we got, uh, you know, when compared to the normal implementation to this? Uh, one second, to this uh, generic solution. Yeah. So what was the, uh, uh, you know, in, uh, importance of doing this generic solution next time if you have a requirement to enhance any other data source let's take uh, any you know fi data source for example uh, you wish to uh, go to rsa i don't do the enhancement now but uh, just i will give high level overview what i am trying to say for example you got a requirement to enhance any of the fi data source okay uh, fiap4 let's say this data source uh, you got a requirement so if you wish to implement the you know enhance this data source you no need to go c mod again there is no requirement at all simply what you need to do you need to perform these steps go to rsa2 uh, you know create the append structure rsa6 unhide uh, and then rsa3 check the fields are coming or not and implement the logic in the implement the logic part what exactly you are going to do is simply you are going to create a new program with the name gbw underscore followed by the data source name gbw underscore zero fi ap4 and create a program uh, here write simply enhancement for uh, data source zero fi ap4 executable program click on save button uh, save it under local or in a tr and in this program, uh, you can copy some, you know, uh, any existing enhancement code into your uh, one. Okay. So, for example, this is my code, right? I'm going to copy this particular code into my 2LAS 11, uh, 2, uh, 0FI AP4, and I will remove my, you know, implementation logic. That's it. And only thing, only thing that to be you need to take care here is the changing this structure is important. Okay. So simply what you need, you need to create a program. In the program, you need to copy data from any one of the existing enhancement program. And what are the changes that you need to do? The changes you must do in these places. 
okay where here you need to update the extract structure of this 0fi ap4 data source okay this is also required you know um, not required because uh, mkt is not required for this one so here also you need to update uh, the structure so here you need to update the extract structure name of this uh, 0fi ap4 and here you need to update the extract structure name of GRF IP4 and in CD data you need to update. That's it. In these places you need to update this program and you implement your logic here. So we are not touching CMOD. If five people working on the data source enhancement of multiple data sources, then there is no dependency between any one of them. They simply create their own programs, they will send it to there. If the program is available, it will be called at the time of extraction. If program is not available, simply it will come out of it and it won't throw any dump also. Why it won't throw any dump? Because we handled here by keeping if found. Only in this program, if it found this exit, it will call or else it will come out of the statement and don't run any logic. Okay, so this is how to enhance the any standard transaction data source in our either ECC or S4 HANA system. Okay, uh, that's all for today. Uh, just I am stopping recording.